Hey, welcome back. It's time to do a little bit of cooking. You all know how to make corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. So that's why I decided to do uh, a St. Patrick's Day dessert, a cake made with Green River Pop Soda. Uh, I just stir a lemon cake box mix, some lemon uh, jello pudding, mix it all together with some applesauce and uh, you know some other uh, ingredients here. And uh, I also just threw in a little a green food coloring because I want to get the, the cake itself to be as green as possible. And once you've got this, this thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly mixed up, what you're going to do is just pour it into a greased bunt pan. And it goes into the oven, 350 degree oven, for uh, an hour. Simple as that. This whole thing is done in uh, one hour. So that, now it's going to go into the uh, oven. And while that is baking, we're going to make the glaze oh boy. For, the, uh, for the cake, which is also super simple. Uh, in a separate bowl completely, we've got some powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar. Uh, this is a little bit of vanilla extract. This is some lemon juice and more of the Green River pop. About a quarter, quarter cup of that is also going to go in here. And now this is all going to get mixed up with the powdered sugar. You just dump it all in. And this is just going to turn into a nice syrupy, sweet, super, super, super sweet. And then this, it's be able to see it when I pour it out, but it's kind of a, almost like a light green. It's not a super, super Kelly green. So if you want a little bit of food coloring in there, it wouldn't hurt. Irish it up a little bit. And it's pretty much, pretty much done right now. Let's see how much of a mess I can make with all these frostings here. But when the cake is done, put it on a, cooling rack for about 15, 20 minutes. Take the bunt pan off, and here's what you've got. And then this front of this uh, glaze, just going to drizzle the glaze carefully all over it. How nice it looks for a nice St. Patrick's Day dessert. So it's a lemon cake inside. Should be a little on the green side. And then on top of this uh, sweet glaze that you've got here. I'm just gonna take some chopped walnuts and throw a little of that on there as well. All of this, then it's just gonna go, I'm gonna take the, maybe I'll just leave it like that. I don't know how to risk it. Well, look how nice that Very looks. Very nice, Dean. The, Very way, nice. the way that it is right there. Um, recipes, yeah, you can uh, scan the QR code up on your screen. We'll send you the recipe. You can also get it by going to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks. We automatically send the recipes every week. When you text the word cooks to 97999. Let's see how green it came out. Yeah, look at this. This, this is a nice, moist, super moist, green, beautiful cake here for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. That's it for now, you guys. We'll be right back.